Hi, my name is Megan Moore, and I'm the Director of Faith Formation at St. Matthew Catholic Church. Advent begins today. Technically about 4 p.m. today, but today. We will spend the next four weeks preparing our hearts for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. He's already here, of course, but we're preparing to let him enter into our hearts in a more significant way and a more intentional way and he desires to come closer to us. So over the next four weeks you will hear from myself and three other staff members as we reflect on the Gospels and the readings from each of the four Sundays of Advent. We hope that these help you to enter into the season more intentionally and to prepare a place in your heart for Jesus Christ, who will come more fully into our hearts on Christmas this year. Today, I will share my own reflection on the gospel from the first Sunday of Advent. This gospel is from the 13th chapter of Mark, and it has one major theme of Jesus saying that we need to be watchful and be alert and be attentive. I was never that person who was watchful, alert, and attentive growing up, but as I've gotten older, I've noticed the importance of watching my surroundings and being attentive to those around me and being alert because we live in a very noisy world. We create a lot of that noise ourselves, but it's important to pay attention to the things that are actually important and during this advent time that's jesus that's our faith and our family and less of the commercialism and social media and news reports and everything else that clouds our world i think it's time to go back to the basics and go back to what is simple and that is just focusing on our Lord. Jesus calls us to be attentive. It's easier to settle into place and to be comfortable. It is so much easier to not do things than to do things. But one of my favorite popes, Pope Benedict XVI, said that we are not called for comfort. We are called for greatness. We are made for greatness. I think that now this Advent season is our time to rise to that call of greatness and ask the Lord what he wants of us. Kind of like a Christmas list. I mean, has anybody ever asked Jesus what he wants for Christmas? Some people may have, but to really take that to prayer and ask what the Lord is calling you to and be alert for his call for you. There are many reasons why we aren't alert. We are distracted by so many things, by things that bring us joy and rightfully so, but also by our own laziness, by our jealousies, by our own pride and selfishness. And hey, we're only human, but how can we expect God to enter into our hearts if we're not watchful and attentive to him? So there's only one possible solution to rectify this situation, and that's loving God through prayer and action, and that will help us to be more alert and wait for him, just by loving him more. The derecho affected all of us, and it affected us in Cedar Rapids in a very real way. M many people are still experiencing the aftermath of the derecho. I still drive down the street and see tree branches piled up at the ends of people's yards or driveways waiting to be picked up. There are people who are still having their roofs repaired and electric lines that are still down throughout the city. Not one of us was unaffected by this natural disaster in August. I experienced it maybe in a little bit of a different way than some people because just a couple weeks later, I was rear-ended by a car and it was kind of directly related to the derecho. Um, I was driving on First Avenue and the traffic lights were out 
because the electricity was still out in many parts of the city and everyone who was at that intersection was treating it like it was a stop sign. They were attentive, they were patient, and they were willing to wait to go wherever they needed to go. So I got up to where I was supposed to stop and I stopped, but the person behind me was not willing to wait and not willing to stop and came crashing into the back of my car. At first I was mad because I was so frustrated that my car was probably totaled, but also that this person lacked patience and wasn't being alert and wasn't being watchful. And now that I'm reflecting on it, I'm realizing that this isn't an isolated incident, that most of us struggle with being watchful and waiting and being patient and we rush through so many parts of our days parts of our weeks parts of our months parts of our years i mean it still feels like march a little bit you know when the pandemic first started and we are now at a point where we are being called by god to stop and to wait and to be alert because Advent has begun. So I encourage all of you to go back to basics. And even if there's not a stop sign or a stop light to stop and wait, because we're not waiting and wondering what's gonna happen. We're waiting in joyful hope this season of Advent. We're waiting because we know our savior is coming on Christmas day. But we also know that Jesus has promised he will return to earth a second time, that, that he will fulfill that promise because he is a God who keeps his promises. So this Advent, I encourage you to find ways to wait with joyful hope, to let Jesus into your heart, to make room for your Savior in your heart, and to be watchful and alert for those ways that God is calling you to listen to him and to follow him and to be more present to those around you. Let's wait for the Lord because he is coming soon. Over the four weeks of Advent, oh no, I already did that. <laughs> We're gonna cut that, whatever. <laughs> Just yeet that out of here. <laughs> well, Hi, this is Father Mike Schmitz with Ascension Presents. Oh, the weather outside is frightful and the camera angle should be delightful. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz and this is Ascension Presents. <laughs> And I, like, yeah. <laughs>